Hey everybody, Bob Arity here. Welcome to 2019 and in this video I'm going to show you the new feature that allows league administrators to change your homepage dashboard layout uh, and to decide what kind of content you want on the homepage. So here's my homepage of my test league with the default settings um, that Golf League Tracker's had for a number of years. We have a player scoring summary, the weather, it's very cold out today, some league links that I set up to different websites, league news, and a discussion forum run by the Discus um, discussion engine. So I want to change this layout and we'll get right to it. We're going to go to administration and league setup. And you'll see a new option here. It says change homepage layout. And this gives you a, a dashboard to move things around, add things, remove things, um, and change the general structure of the page. So the first thing you'll notice is this toolbar up here. And we have a number of different layouts available. Um, this may change by the time you see this video. Um, I'm going to click on this drop down here. And the default layout is two columns with a right sidebar. And a sidebar is a fixed width section that you can drop things into. Um, good for small little items that you want to view. Um, and so you'll see we have nine different layouts. And you can change them right on the fly here. I'm going to click on the left sidebar. And you'll notice it squishes the player summary down into this little tiny sidebar and the league news. Um, so you can change layouts with your current widgets that you have on the page. Um, here's one, two columns that are equal width. And so you'll see a number of different ones that um, you can choose from. I'm going to try one that uh, I think I like the best now that I've played with this for a while. It's got three columns, equal width, and with a header. So I'm going to pick that. We have four different areas we can put things in. and um, I'm going to hit save up here and this will change my layout and save it for the home page uh, the next time somebody goes to the site. Um, so you'll see a library of widgets. I'm going to clear out all of these widgets that I have in here to show you what's available as of this recording. And there's about 10 of them set. Um, all the ones from last year are here in addition to um, a few new ones. And I will be adding more widgets as time goes on throughout the season. They're pretty easy for me to add. And if you have a request for one, give me a shout. And um, I'll take a look to see if it makes sense to add it to the list um, for the other leagues. So I'm going to decide we're going to put league news at the top here. So to add a widget, very simple. You just drag this over. And you'll see the drop here is the four different areas on this particular layout that I can um, add things to and I'll just drag it to here and let go and you'll see it renders with the new uh, or with the current um, information for that widget. Now you when you drop things you can then add more things to either above or below it. So for example if I wanted my um, league discussion up here I can drop it. I'm going to put it below the league news and it goes and renders. Very simple to do. I'm going to drop this for now, the league discussion, and I'm going to populate my three columns that I set up here. I'm going to add the player list onto one. I will add uh, the schedule onto another. And then we're going to put, how about the league standings in the third? And this is just a test league. Um, with some test players and, and test scores and, and points set up. I'm going to hit save so I don't lose my changes. And that's how you add things to the league dashboard. Now you can also move things around. Let's say I wanted to move the standings to the middle and the schedule to the right. All I do is drag the existing widget over. And it creates a little space for me. And then I'll drag the schedule over. And that's it. Real simple to move things around. It should work with your tablets. Um, it's not going to work with your phone. You need a little bit larger screen to design the layout. So be sure to use at least a tablet or your desktop computer. I'm going to hit save again. Now some of these widgets have configurable options. 
For example, with the schedule, if we click this gear icon, it will pop up the different options available for this widget. In this case, you can display between one and four rounds of the future schedule. So let's say I want to display three rounds. And there's also an option to, uh, to include a link to the full schedule. So I'll turn that on and hit save. And the page will regenerate. And now the schedule with the next three rounds will be displayed along with the link to the full schedule. And I'll hit save. Now you can also preview this to see what it's going to look like for your users. We'll click the preview button in the upper left and it hides all the design aspects of the page. And that's how it will look for your, um, your users, users when they go to the home page. So that's it. We're going to hit save. Now we're going to go to the actual home page. And that's what your players will see when they log in. So I hope you like this new feature. It's been uh, requested for a couple of years now. And like I said, give me a shout if you want to see a widget added that's not in here. Or if you need a configuration option for one of the existing widgets, I'll take a look to see uh, if I can add that. All right, thanks. We'll talk to you later. Bye.